Welcome back everyone. Trust that we are gaining some insights from the life of Deborah. Today um I want to talk about the fact that um uh in this battle though there were people involved and they were doing their part it was really God who was working in the background to release victory for them. So uh in our lives as we go about trusting uh in the victory that the cross has given us uh we can do our part as led by the holy spirit but know that the victory really comes from the lord now looking at this particular battle in judges 4 um in verse 23 we read so on that day god subdued jabin king of canaan in the presence of the children of israel now isn't that interesting who actually um was the one who had the final word and you know who who took the who gave the final blow it was um the lady called jail who finally you know took a tent peg and killed the enemy however we read in verse 23 that it was god who subdued it was god who subdued Now uh in between as the battle was unfolding it looked like Barak was in control and then it looked like you know, he wasn't in control but notice here that even when the enemy seemingly escaped it was God who had hearts prepared it was God who had spoken and ministered to um a lady far away and nobody would have ever realized that the final blow would be hers but at that time god's word had come so clearly to deborah and uh, she had spoken that finally you know god is going to do this he is going to um, grant the victory to the children of israel and she also was able to spell out exactly how so you know, she says that god would deliver the enemy into the hands of a woman um, so the point is that the circumstances were unfolding in their own way and the process uh wa- was taking its own course but ultimately the lord was working it all out for those who were ready to strive in faith and it's the same thing for us today you know god is the deliverer deliverer as we read in that verse 23 god subdued god is our deliverer we read in 1 john uh, chapter 3 and verse 8 the lord jesus came to destroy the works of the devil he did it during his earthly ministry and he continues to release the same thing upon us by the power of the holy spirit in our times so nothing much has changed god has worked he has finished the work on the cross and as we step out in faith in the spiritual realm these things begin to um uh, truly unfold our victory begins to come forth uh, and so instead of fixing our eyes on our situation we must fix our eyes on what the lord has already done and i just want to uh, repeat for us these passages of scripture uh, in first corinthians 1557 we read that the victory comes to us through Christ and also a very familiar passage in Psalm 20 and verse 7 which says some may trust in horses some in chariots but we will trust in the name of our Lord and the Lord God is our deliverer we must do our part and yet you know our faith and our hope is in the Lord God our deliverer he has subdued the enemy he gives us the victory Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for this truth that you are almighty and God, you are working on our behalf. Thank you, Lord. If God be for us, who can be against us? We declare that Lord, the victory is ours in Christ Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.